So today we're talking about uh, firefighter bailout and what to do and how to do it in detail. So biggest thing, if you find yourself in a situation uh, where you need to bail, we're going to try to close the door and cut off that flow path behind you if possible. Uh, and then we're going to look for an exterior window. Um, when we go to uh, take the window, uh, a couple thoughts here. Um, hopefully you have your tool with you. And we know that making the hook in the windowsill is going to be the fastest and uh, probably most efficient way to get out versus getting a remote anchor. So a um, couple things. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to find my window. Um, this is an emergency bailout, so you're not calling a mayday or anything like that yet. So I'm going to deploy my hook. Get it out have it ready to go. I have my tool. I'm taking my window. I'm looking for the middle sash of the window, taking it out, clearing the window, clearing the whole thing out. I'm going back to my hook. Hook's going into my left hand immediately, right here on the, the bend of the hook. Goes right into my thumb crease. From here, my right hand's going to slide down right down to the rope. I'm not getting on the tether, I'm going right to the rope and I'm keeping it pretty close to my descender, okay? So from here, window's already taken, I'm going straight up and out the window. As I come up, trying to stay in a low position, my hand placement is going right against the sill and my fingers are down to the floor, okay? So, um, you can see my hand, it's really just not on the hook. It is just kind of wedged against that 90 in the windowsill. So from there, not cupping it, not putting my hand on the hook at all. It's going right in here, just wedging in. From here, I really got to belly up to the window. I want to be uh, vertical and not horizontal. So you want to come on this side, Chris? No, go ahead and we'll get another okay. video. So as I come through, I'm trying to get my hips to the sill. Just like so. From here, coming over, I'm going to make my hook with my leg. And then, you can see my hand. I'm in a good position, strong position here. If I had to go back in the window, I could. But I'm really holding on to that sill. As I come through, hand never leaves the sill. Keep your hand right where it is. And I've got a good bite on the hook. From here, my left hand's gonna slide down right to find the center. My right hand is still in the same position. Never left this position. From here, I'm down I go. So remember we talked about being vertical to the window and not horizontal. If I come here and I try to be horizontal to the sill, I'm really going to get jammed up when I try to get out. When I belly up, hips to the window, to the sill, my head has to come straight down, okay? Just like this. That allows my hips to come out of the sill. If not, if I try to go horizontal, it's not going to happen. It's easy. So from here, i got plenty of room to get my right leg out. Right leg comes out. Hook. Great transition. Right hand here. Oh All right, we're going to demonstrate real quick full speed, um, a full speed bailout, and kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. So I got this door shut behind me. I found my exterior window. I'm going to fail. And as you notice, Ben did not do the leg hook. So as you get more proficient in understanding the hand placement, which is the most important part of this process, you can go full speed and go straight out. All right, this is a quick tutorial on, uh, on, the, on the firefighter bailout. 
with a tank on, it's gonna really show you why the necessity is to be up and down to be able to get that tank out. Also with the necessity, as you see Tim here, he's gonna be breaking out the window. And as he breaks out the window, it's really important that you get that sash out in the middle of it because your tank's gonna get hung up, if not. All right, now, right, Tim. As you notice, Tim comes out, he's going to get that, he's going straight up and down to get that tank up and down. Perfect. 